Ash, we have his gamer launch. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Wow. Yeah, a little bit more close wars for the benefit of Little Mac here. At least it is like just hand to hand versus hand to hand. Or hand to hand. Anyway, a little bit more close range, so he has at least a little bit more of a fighting chance in my opinion, but we'll see how much that actually turns out to be true. Yeah, already Von Stash here starting off really strong with those uh, aerials coming in here, and Wiccan just trying to find an opening here, uh, but again, I'm tossed around a little bit already by this Game of Watch here. Yeah, it's... Game of Watch is terrifying. The character has so many ways to get on you, and just a single move does so much damage by itself. It's one of those moves that people really don't pay attention to see how much it actually does. Yeah. With King playing around the KO Punch, actually get the chance to do so too. Yeah, just trying to find the easy way out here, trying to use that KO Punch as soon as possible, but Von Staff definitely playing the patience game right now, and not letting uh, Wiffin get that stock so easily right now. Again, sitting at 30%, we get pretty clean here from Von Staff. Yeah, Wiffin has a little bit of catching up here to do with Von Staff having such a lead right now, and that might be enough to go, it is. I don't even think, like, Vontage has taken any damage since he gained that 38%. It looks he's like his well. is, like, not changed at all. He's playing well, and Whipping just can't find his way in to do that damage. Definitely living up to his name, Whipping a lot of smash attacks here. <laughs> I mean, again, playing against, like, Game & Watch, it is a tricky character to play against, and considering that uh, he's not exactly floaty, but he's, like, an interesting archetype kind of character because he just kind of bounces around a lot. Right. Like, the character isn't fast fast, but he's fast enough to where you have to respect it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially, like, when you're with your little Mac game here, you gotta definitely pay attention to this game. And <laughs> both just have from Wimkin here. Not gonna do anything just yet, though, and trying to find an uh, opening here, but Von Stash can keep his distance and just trying to pressure Wimkin. So that's the second time I've seen it now to where Von Stash with Game Watch is able to upbeat between the two hits of forward tilt, and that is just crippling what Rift can really do. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like Game Watch upbeat is definitely a really strong move that you, that you just really don't want to play against because it is tricky. That's but, uh, stack, though. Yeah, there it is. First off, uh, I'm going to Rift King here. Okay, still playing from deficit, though. <laughs> Down two sec well, one second two, and it looks like Von Stash wants to start piling up the damage here. Yeah, Von Stash already uh, trying to make a big lead here, 53% on the Whip King, and he's trying to take this uh, last stock already, so this game one can go straight to Von Stash, but again, he's struggling just a little bit as Whip King is trying to keep his defense up. Still pushed out. It's definitely a slower paced game than I was expecting for sure. Yeah. But to Von Slash's benefit, he is keeping up his his lead. This simply just seems like a, a whole set of patience. Like you you have to be patient with either or character. Right. So. Yeah. Pulling the trigger a little bit too soon there. Yeah, Von Slash is trying no, to close no it out. No, no That's gonna call. Uh, yeah, that's gonna lose the first game for him. Yeah, two stocks. Still, so. He will go into Monster Hunter. Strong gaming watch, honestly, but uh, I feel like it's still um, it's still pretty like, uh, not not as dominant, but definitely still has the stage control. Right. And honestly, I feel like compared to other gaming watch players, I feel like I've seen them be pretty aggressive or very like. Um, they use a lot of like LP as well, or even like, again, like I had mentioned, like the aerials. So uh, seeing that the difference from Von's dash just being very uh, pa uh, patient yeah. and just kind of just, uh, I guess, just waiting on their opponent to see, like, like I guess, reactive to see what their opponent does. So Wait, I do think the Ripkin is doing well to play that patient game and just like look for the openings. It's just unfortunate that he's not quite getting the openings he needs, and unfortunately, with the way the game watch works, if you hit his shield, you're gonna get upbeat. That's just what's gonna happen. It's how it goes. Yeah, definitely. Got a color switch here, though, coming from the Whip King. Maybe just a little bit of a boost or something, and also a stage kind of a small battlefield here now. Still playing the patient game. Catches him with a mix up, but unsafe on hit right there. Taking more damage than he actually pushed out. Yeah, Monstaff already starting off um, kind of strong here, but Whip King already building up more percentage here. Okay, you get some more damage here. Maybe get back to stage, though. Right, even so far. Yeah, we're gonna do it though, just like that. 
might have been saved. No, you don't get the sidey back, that's right. Kind of unfortunate for Lucian here. Mustache again, still on three socks for 50%. So again, maybe something could still turn around with King coming in strong uh, with that. Yeah, the big thing here that I've noticed with King is that he kind of struggles to find the kills. FTL, Uptil has kind of been his savior for finding the kill, but it isn't exactly at too early of a percent. And when Lodak can die at any percent, he needs something a little bit quicker than what he's getting currently. Yeah, definitely. I honestly believe that Luke King, uh, if, if, his, if his little effect was just a little bit more uh, pressurable or more aggressive, I feel like the openings would have been uh, more easier to see, but unfortunately I just feel like with King is just not quite there yet, and right. three stock might be coming from Monsash as well, so uh, Wu King is trying to find his like, first dog by chance. And like, at this point, unfortunately, Whip King can't really afford to play too patient, right. because he's down three stocks, it's just, you're so far behind that if you play slow, what reason does Monsash have to go in against you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, coming from Monsat here at one point. and looking finding that first stock finally, having a little bit uh, a little bit less uh, pressure on him, just trying to find more percentage to build up here on Monsash. Alright, counter. So trying to find a way to close the second stock. Only a 41%. He needs at least a little bit more damage before he finds anything. Gale Punch does do the trick here. I'm not going to take it just yet though, but more hefty percent is coming out from the Whip King here. So maybe there is still a fighting chance from that fair. I'm not going to take it just yet though. Okay. Just got the Sage. You can yeah. still find this, still hold on to the Cable Punch too. If he holds on to the Cable Punch, the last stock. Unfortunately, as I say it though, it's gone. Commentate is first. <laughs> Sidey going to do the trick though. 90%. Not the best position to be in, but... That's the worst position. Unfortunate <laughs> for Whip King. Goes down 2-0 to Von Stash. Von Stash moving on. And with that, that is 